What's up everybody? I'm here with a unboxing of a Glock 26 Gen 5. Um, basically it's my um, everyday carry. Um, just, you've seen one unboxing, you've seen them all, but I just wanted to do one for the channel and I'll try to do a couple more um, just to give you some insight into what you can look for. So uh, the first thing you're gonna get is a Glock hard case. This is great for, you know, taking to the range with you. Um, great way to secure the gun. You know, other guns like Ruger, Smith & Weston come with cardboard. It's always good to have a hard case. All right. When you open it. Uh, usually you get uh, three magazines, three 10, ma 10 round magazines. You can always add a, uh, uh, an extender base plate to it. Um, I didn't want to do that, go through all of that. So what I did was I purchased a 12 round pinky extension for the 26. That way I get a full grip because without it, you won't get a full grip. And let me demonstrate. Okay. Which, I mean, these are the main fingers you need to aim, but you know, naturally you want to be able to put your pinky on and get the full extension and I also put on the medium back strap on the back right here you just push out a little screw with the Glock tool and you can add a back strap and that pretty much gives me the gen 3 grip because the gen 5s are a lot skinnier in the grip so I'm used to the 3 grip and it's just perfect just marriage your hand excellent firearm okay and I use it with the uh 12 round OEM uh, magazine. This is from Glock official magazine. I want to make sure I get that so you know I don't have any possibilities of, uh, of having any jams or the magazine not working well with the firearm. Um, and of course, the Gen 5 comes with the ambidextrous slide releases on both sides. Um, you can uh, switch your magazine release to the other side as well if you're left handed. Um, front and back serrations. Now, for the longest, I didn't understand like why you would want to press check from the front of the gun, but I actually found a use for these. Um, when I'm in a car or when you're in a confined spot and you can't really rack from the back, it's excellent to rack from here. You know, so I finally found a, a use for them, and I mean, it works. It works. All right. Now, a few other things. Speed loader. Took me a while to figure out how to use this. Um, just basically go on top of the magazine, push down, put your next round in there. And, you know, it takes a little get used to, getting used to, but, you know, just play around with it and it'll get there. As I said before, it comes with back straps. It's supposed to come with four. I actually only got two. So I have to reach out to uh, the company who I bought these for and this uh, Glock from and let them know that um, I was missing two back straps. You're supposed to get uh uh, a medium with a beaver tail, a large with a beaver tail, and you're supposed to get a medium without a beaver tail and a large without a beaver tail. So I'm missing two of them, so I'm gonna reach out to them, see if I can get them, get them to send me one. If not, I'll just buy it because they're on like, you know, 15, 20 bucks. You know, Glock aftermarket parts are, are fairly uh, inexpensive. All right, you also get a clean brush for the barrel, you know, when you're putting a lot of rounds through it, this cleaning brush will really help you out. Very sturdy, well made, and it also comes with an extension rod. So, you know, put it on here like this, right? Then you can just clean the barrel like that. Neat tool. You know, Glock makes sure you, you have all the tools and things you need, you know, to to maintain the gun. It's very simple uh, firearm, very easy to use. Um, you can customize it however you want. Um, if there's something particularly uh, about the gun you don't like, you can always change it. Slides, triggers, magazines, grips. I mean, the, the, the list goes on. All right. Uh, one other thing you'll get in the package is a gun lock. I recommend, excuse me, I recommend, um, you know, using this, or I've used this um, when I didn't have a safe. It's a good way to secure your firearms if they're not on your purchase. So, um, 
You can take advantage of that if you don't have a safe. Um, another thing that comes in, it's basically, um, you know, important information about firearms and things like that. I never really look at this stuff. Unfortunately, um, but I also recommend that um, uh, you subscribe to the uh, Glock Store catalog. Um, they have a bunch of good, cool stuff in here, you know, barrels and different things like that. Just, you know, um, if you're into customizing the farm exactly how you want, you got sites. Um, and then they just tell you how um, these various accessories can improve your firearm. So that's something I signed up for separate. I recommend you do it. Um, that way, you know, you can take a look at, you know, potentially upgrades for the firearm or ways to make it more customized to the way you want it. You know, look at that. It's beautiful. And, you know, that's the thing about Glocks. You know, a lot of people say, hey, uh, they're simple. They're, they don't do anything. And, you know, they chose to stick with the prototype that won them their original um, contract with Austria. And um, they stayed true to it. Um, and they've made significant um, improvements to it. Um, you know, better marksman barrel, uh, uh, dual recoil spring. Um, you know, um, another thing they did was with the uh, sights, they just made it cleaner, made it sharper, easier. So you can see down sight like that. You know, really amazing. Um, I love Glock. Um, they're reliable. Um, that's not even that question. I mean, these firearms were created specifically for military use. So as a bonus, you get um, that kind of quality, that kind of reliability. And I mean, it just, I don't understand why you want to go anywhere else. I mean, there are other you know, firearms that are more suited for specific specifications, but when you're talking about all around, paying for your book. I mean, you can't beat God. And you know, I've I've had Smith & Wesson, I've used other firearms and they were fine. Um, but you know, I didn't like the trigger with the Smith & Wesson and they, they weren't good against sweat. Like I sweat on this, it doesn't rust at all. With my Smith & Wesson, I sweat on it, rust constantly and I didn't like that. You know, I felt like that was one thing that they could have um, really fixed or addressed, but um, they didn't. Uh, it's something that, you know, you know, Glock has that reputation, you know. So, you know, that's what you get. Um, you know, feel free to you know, leave any comments or anything that I left off. Um, but this is, you know, a general unboxing. You've seen one, you've seen them all. But I wanted to give my take and um, my, you know, um, insight into, uh, you know, this firearm and how it's, you know, it, it's worth the worth the uh, money, it's, uh, great quality, and you know, you can't miss, you can't miss. I love it with the back strap, feels great, you know, easy to conceal, you know, a little, you know, thick compared to some of the micro nines that they have out nowadays, but you gotta, you gotta understand, um, it's give and take. Yeah, it's slimmer, but it's a lot snappier. And I used to have a shield. I carried it for like two years. And when I finally took it to the range after about 25 rounds, it was very, very snappy. And it just, you know, it it, it, it wore my hand out. This much flatter shooter, um, easy to conceal. And, you know, I just really love it. And I think it was a great purchase. Um, leave a comment, you know, let me know what you guys think. And um, you know, God bless America.